what's up guys um it's been a hot minute it's been a long time but there is so much crazy stuff going on in our world and i think it's so important to take the time to process everything that's going on and everything that's happening and take time to have those tough conversations and as a person as a black person a person of color um everything going on was weighing on me so so heavily that i just needed to disconnect for a while i haven't been super active on literally any of my social medias because i just felt like getting on them i would just get so discouraged and so upset this is when i filmed this video like a month ago i'm like a month and a half into my fitness journey and um so this video was filmed a long time ago. I just want to encourage you guys to educate yourselves um, on everything going on. Uh, and that everyone take the time to educate themselves about everything that's going on. I just feel like a lot of the comments that I'm seeing are just people who are kind of ignorant and like don't want to be even open to the possibility that they are wrong and i just feel like this isn't a political issue this is a morality issue this is a humanity issue and um that's just my personal belief obviously yeah, resources are down below for you guys um just to educate yourselves more on everything that's going on mm. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to leave resources down below, and I just really hope that you take the time to educate yourselves. Um, yeah, so we can all be better, because we all do need to be better. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, so back to this content. I filmed this literally like a month and a half ago. I'm so far into my fitness journey than I was. This was just my second week and I tried, uh, my mom used to be like a fitness competitor and I tried her diet that she did and you literally eat the same thing every single day. So I did that for a week. Um, I actually stuck with that diet for two and then I just got so sick of eating the same thing every single day that I have since switched over to Weight Watchers and I really enjoy Weight Watchers and I'm gonna do like a whole nother video like update on where I am um I started out being like 186 and right now I'm like 168 so I've lost like about 20 pounds which is kind of crazy I think I don't really look that different but I feel so much better and with everything going on in the world right now and a bunch of stuff that's going on in my personal life, I feel like my health is so important and it's so important for me to take care of myself. And these past few days, I haven't gone to the gym and I can just tell a difference like in my mood and um, yeah, and just like my overall like, uh, I guess mood is the word, like mood for the day is just so different when I don't take that time and something that I've discovered like taking the time to work out and taking the time to put food in your body that makes your body feel good is a form of self-care and everyone feels happy at different weights and sizes and there isn't one ideal size or like one ideal look like I don't have a body goal I'm just taking care of my body and Working out in the morning makes my body feel good, so I'm going to keep doing it. Not eating certain foods, which I still eat like burgers and french fries because sometimes, damn it, I just want a burger and french fries because it makes me feel like comforted sometimes. Like sometimes I just need that. But then my stomach gets really upset later, so it doesn't like make my body feel good in the long run. So I try to like fill my body with things that don't upset my stomach an hour later because no one likes sitting around with an upset stomach. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want people to see this and think like that the way the the weight on the scale matters or that you need to be skinny to be pretty because that's not true at all. I think that health is just about doing things that make your body feel good and a form of love to yourself. That's what health and fitness is to me. And I think that's so important. And that definition is so important because it can quickly go to such a dangerous place 
if you're not careful so i just want to just throw that in that that's how i view like this whole experience but anyways this video was filmed a long time ago and it's just me going through that for a week and i hope you guys enjoy it and i'm gonna try to take the time to film another video of me talking about what i've been doing since then and what i like and don't like what i tried and failed and what I have tried that worked for me and all those good things. I am not a health and fitness person. I do not have a degree in that. So again, this is just what's working for me and um, like my own personal choices. So like don't just go off and like try to do everything I'm doing because that may not work for you and your body. Just a disclaimer. So anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah. Okay. Back to like the real video intro. good morning guys happy day two of my physique diet <laughs> i don't even know what it's called but people who do physique stuff diet um i said i was in the beginning originally i was gonna do chloe ting's workout but before quarantine and all that happened i started going to this really small gym and it's kind of crossfit and basically like they only work out three or four people at a time. So it's really small groups and the workouts are amazing. You're in and you're out in like 45 minutes. It's so nice. But they are opening this week as is the rest of Sacramento County where I live. So um, I'm gonna go start going again during the week. I go to the 6 a.m. workouts just cause with work that's better. And I like going at 6 a.m. because there's usually only like two other people other than me and we're the first ones in there we're the first ones to touch the equipment so i know everything is for sure clean which is really nice and they're very sanitary it's really easy to keep things super clean when you're only having like five people in the gym at a time so anyways i'm starting that on monday so i don't think i'm going to do chloe ting with this anymore i'm just going to do those workouts um and then also I'll do those workouts and then I'll still try to do cardio outside of those workouts, whether it's walking or like a run walk mixture. My mom says not to go too crazy the first few weeks when it comes to working out because I'm probably going to feel really tired while my body gets used to like not having all those like sugars <laughs> and like bad carbs in my body. So, um, We'll see. I don't know. Yesterday I felt fine. Um, this morning I'm tired, but that's because I went to bed at like 12.30 and woke up at 5.30 this morning because my time is just so messed up <laughs> still. So anyways, I turned on the camera because I just made the breakfast. So for breakfast, every single morning I have a one-third cup of uncooked oats because when you cook it, it expands obviously. So I made those and then you have one whole egg and four egg whites. So it's in this bowl here. You can see it, the eggs and the oats. To me, this is a yummy breakfast and is honestly something I would eat anyways. So I've been drinking smoothies usually, but I honestly think this is gonna keep me, this is gonna make me feel way more full than the breakfasts that I were making. I told my mom yesterday when I ate, um, the lunch because it's four I, at the beginning i thought it was five but it's four different meals a day which is one more meal than i'm used to eating so when i was eating lunch yesterday i like couldn't finish it i was so full so i do want to say that i'm not starving myself like i am eating a lot of food still it's just now i'm not one overeating two i'm cutting out all the bad processed unhealthy things for my body and um Three, I don't really know what the third one is, but I feel like when you say, oh, I'm doing, you know, like the physique diet and people think I'm on this like crazy diet and I'm not, like I'm still really full. I'm just eating healthy foods. And for me, it's helpful to have a meal plan that tells me how much to eat and when to eat it because then I don't really have to think about it. But it's literally not like I'm eating one piece of lettuce for a meal. Like they're full whole meals and I hope that by showing you today what I'm eating that you guys will feel the same. It's time for my second meal of the day and it is actually just like protein. So it's two scoops of protein. I use Tropica um, and this is their chocolate protein. So I already put the two scoops in here. 
and then I think I'm supposed to just mix it with water but I don't usually do that I use this stock cold brew coffee um it's black and it's unsweetened so literally nothing is in it like it has zero grams of sugar um and it's only 15 calories per serving which is what I put in here so I put that in there and some almond milk and I mix it up so I will show you guys how I make that really quick my hair I haven't done anything since I woke up this morning so now um I just like mix it all up and I just drink it and this is my little like in between lunch snack so I'll have lunch in like an hour two hours from now so this kind of hold me over until lunch and today I'm actually not working out because it's my rest day because it's Sunday and I like to keep Sundays as Rest days. I think I'm going to go for a walk later just to like get outside, but I'm not like doing any crazy workout today. So, whoa, what's up guys? Sorry. Tried to film when I was done working out. Just wasn't working out for me. <laughs> Too much going on. Um, so yeah, I'm back home from my workout. I'm feeling really good. That was such a freaking good workout. I'm so happy that my gym is open again because I missed it. And again, it's not like a normal gym. There are only four of us there. Three two other people who are actually working out and then the trainer. I used my own weights, own equipment. We wiped everything down after we used it. It was wiped down before we used it. So we're safe, we're sanitary, but I miss being able to do that. <laughs> I missed it so much. So I don't know if I'm gonna go tomorrow or not. I can't decide, but I think I might. Um, I'm gonna just book it to make myself do it probably because I just love this feeling. I love waking up early, like it's, just now 7 30 and i've worked out got gas washed my car and now i just have so much time and especially when i'm working like i can be showered and working by eight o'clock like that's so nice and i already got all that stuff done <sighs> so i think i'm i can't decide if i want to go three times a week or every single day can't really decide which is better for my body but anyways sorry i left you guys hanging yesterday i had every intention of showing every single meal but then my friends came over she they kindly cleaned my entire house for me my house has never been this clean um so that was nice and they're helping me put a room together that stuff has just been sitting in um so i ended up doing that yesterday and then i went over there for dinner and i just forgot but i did my meal plan i stuck to it even though my friends got in and out i still ate um my food which hot take i really just don't find in and out very good it's like not even worth the cheat so um shake shack is a different story but that's not what we had going on um so yeah it's day i see i started this on saturday it's monday day three i feel so good like my body feels good I feel good. I have lost more weight. When I was home and I went to the doctor, I weighed 184 pounds, which is so crazy. I've never, ever, ever been above like 165. And I don't know what was going on. <laughs> I don't know what. But I stepped on the scale this morning and I weigh 176, almost 175 pounds. So I've almost lost 10 pounds. And I've only been here for a week. I think I was just so stressed out at home. And I think that I was emotional eating really bad. And I was like holding. Because you can gain weight when you're stressed. I feel like you either lose it or you gain it. Which I think now that I'm here, I'm losing it because I'm stressed and anxious. But at home, I was like eating everything I freaking saw to try to make myself feel better. Which isn't healthy. Um, so I'm feeling really good. Um... I also think a huge reason why I lost weight so quickly was because I started drinking a gallon of water a day. Like I truly believe the gallon of water a day is the reason that I lost weight so quickly. I think I dropped water weight dramatically when I started drinking that and I feel way more full throughout the day. Like I am notorious for being a snacker. Like I just snack all day long, then eat full meals. But like I don't even want snacks because I'm not hungry. And I've been listening to my body. Like when I get the urge to eat, I ask myself, are you hungry? Like, are you actually hungry? Is your stomach rumbling? 
and it isn't i'm just like eating because i'm bored so now i just eat when i feel hungry like intuitive eating you know and i think eating like multiple not just three i eat more than three meals a day and i think that that has sped up my metabolism a lot too so i don't know so anyways feeling good i know for a fact that i'm not gonna vlog the rest of the day because it's memorial day i'm going to my friends and we're gonna hang out at her pool and just enjoy the day i am pre-making my meals so i'll stick to that it'll be hard because there's gonna be like a lot of food there but still gonna stick to my meal plan and all that good stuff today i just wanted to check in to let you know that i'm feeling great day three feeling great so i will check back in with you guys tomorrow and i promise tomorrow i will show you my lunch and dinner just so you know i like cut off after my second meal and i'm so sorry so i will show you the rest of it tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna shower and stretch and do all that i need to do to get ready for today so i'll see you guys tomorrow what's up guys it's later in the day it's time for lunch and since i haven't shown you my lunch and all that i figured why not show you um this morning was a hard morning. It was it was a rough morning, but I got up and I did my cardio, which was nice. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to show you guys my lunch. So basically, a sweet potato is in here. I eat half of a sweet potato usually, like four ounces, a cup of asparagus, and then four ounces of chicken. Um, usually, I have like a real chicken breast that I put and I season and I season it differently every meal so it doesn't feel like I'm always eating the same thing. But I forgot to defrost my chicken yesterday so I have to use that like pre-made cut up chicken which probably isn't that good for me but it's all I have and it says it's like antibiotic free and all that good stuff but either way, it's on me. I didn't defrost my chicken so um, I just put it in the fridge and stuff to defrost for hopefully tonight. But that's what my lunch looks like. I'll show you guys when it's all made and on my plate too. But yeah, that's what I've been eating for lunch every day is just chicken, some sort of green veggie, whether it's asparagus or broccoli or zucchini or like something green. And then um, I think I said a sweet potato already, <laughs> but those are the things that I eat for lunch. Okay guys, this is my dinner. If it'll focus, it's chicken, a cup of of greens for a salad and some roasted broccoli and it's really good so um that's what i eat for dinner every day is chicken a salad and then some type of green you can also substitute for brown rice and stuff but i'm honestly just lazy to wait for brown rice to cook so anyways yeah that's dinner and it's yummy and it's easy I think that's what I like about this. Like, yeah, I am eating kind of the same thing every day, but I can switch it up with spices and it's just so easy. Like, I don't have to think about it. I just throw it together and it's easy, so. Good morning, guys. It's day six. Sorry I didn't check in yesterday. I will update you on how yesterday went. When I get back from my workout, it is 5.30 in the morning. I have a workout at 6 a.m. and I am ready to go and I'm walking out the door right now. So, good morning, day six. 6 a.m. workout, second day in a row. Let's do this. Good morning, guys. I'm back from my workout and it is only 7.09. Can you believe it? Workout in, I'm about to get a shower. I'm gonna be working by 7.30, it's amazing. Today's workout was really good, guys, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I am so sore. My legs are so sore. There's only been one day this week where I haven't gone into workout at that specific gym. And I think I'm now addicted to the 6 a.m. workout life. <laughs> like, when I first wake up, it's a little rough. But as soon as I get out of bed and get going, like, I'm feeling good through those workouts, man. Like, real good. And something that I've been doing when I wake up, I don't eat before I work out. Um, because I can't get up early enough to eat and make sure I digest that food. And honestly, I just have such a sensitive stomach that I prefer not to eat before I work out because I will my stomach will get upset like i'm such a weakling like i have such a weak stomach something i do do is drink these it's called celsius and this is the peach mango green tea flavor what's up guys i'm just updating you on my little health journey and i decided to order qdoba because i'm just so tired of cooking all of my meals and i just need something different like eating the same thing for six days straight, like that's boring. And 
I stayed on track with all my other meals today and I didn't get anything unhealthy from keto but I got their like I think it's called like their paleo bowl or actually I got Chipotle I don't know why I keep saying Qdoba because there's no Qdobas around me sadly so I had to get Chipotle but um anyways I got one of their like paleo bowls so it's just like chicken and veggies lettuce and guac and I think some kind of salsa and it was only like 460 calories so I feel like it's a replacement of what I would have had for dinner anyways because I for dinner I would have had chicken like a side salad and some type of veggie so I feel like that's what that is and it'll be something different and something new and then yeah so that's what I got and I'm excited for it because I'm excited that I don't have to cook and I'm excited to have a different meal and it's still healthy and it's still good and eventually I'm gonna have to learn how to make healthy choices when I am not able to eat at home so that's where I'm at right now <laughs> it's here it doesn't look very good, honestly. Not good presentation, but I'm excited to eat it. Also watching 90 Day Fiance, so if you watch, let me know who you want him to choose. I kind of want them to get back together. Anyways, gonna eat. What's up guys? It is officially day seven, and let me tell you, I regret getting Chipotle for dinner last night because my stomach hurt so bad this morning i feel like through the workout i was really lethargic and like not as energized as i usually am so note to self just stick to the diet because honestly it just makes my body feel better because for two weeks i've like cut all stuff like that out and i think my body got used to me putting good things in it and then when i ate something like that it made me realize how bad that kind of stuff makes my body feel so not doing that unless like i have to because it's just not worth how upset my stomach was this morning honestly it just wasn't so i worked out still made it to my 6 a.m feeling good on the last day of this week for this vlog i wanted to tell you that i did switch up when i had my first protein shake so usually i'd have the eggs and oatmeal first and then this as a snack in between lunch but I find that after I come home from working out, I'm not really in the mood. Like I don't really have an appetite for the eggs and the oatmeal. It's just like, I just don't feel like eating something heavy, even though it's not heavy. I don't know, something about it. I'm just not in the mood for when I get back from working out. So I like having my little coffee protein shake first. Um, plus it's probably good to like put that protein in my body right after I work out. Um, to help with the muscle and recovery or something like that. I feel like I read that somewhere, I don't know. Don't listen to me, I'm not, like, I didn't go to school for this, but um, yeah, so that's something I did do is I switched up uh, when I have my first protein shake coffee thingy, and yeah, now I know. <laughs> Sticking to the diet because I just like to feel good. I don't like when my stomach's upset. I don't like when I feel bloated. I don't like when my stomach's in pain and that's what was happening um this morning from eating chipotle so note to self don't do that um so yeah i'm gonna stick to the meal plan again today and um tomorrow morning to end this vlog i will show you my before picture from two weeks ago and i'll show you in the morning like what my body looks like when i first wake up because both both of those pictures were taken in the morning so it's like compare yourself to the same time of day kind of thing i really wish at the beginning of this I would have taken my measurements instead of my weight because I think measurements are a lot more telling about your progress rather than your weight because you gain muscle and lose fat and like your your weight doesn't tell you that much even though my scale does tell me my body fat percentage which is really really helpful I wish that I would have just taken my measurements because I think that that would have given me a better idea of how my body is progressing my mom did tell me on the phone that when she was competing and did this diet that it felt like she her body looked the same and then the last week it all just like came off somehow. So I may not even see a difference. You may not even see a difference, but I wanna show you my week two progress report, whatever. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning and that'll be the end of the vlog for this week, my week two of my fitness journey and i have to tell you like i only missed one 6 a.m workout this week and it's because i was up, up late and all that stuff for memorial day and my, i knew my body just needed to sleep 
So next week, I'm gonna make it all five days. Tomorrow I'm going hiking, and then Sunday I'm gonna completely rest, maybe go for a walk, but I know my body needs the rest. And um, I gotta tell you, like I just feel so good. Even in the gym, even working out, I feel the difference between what I felt like three weeks ago and now, like I feel stronger, I feel healthier, I'm more confident, I feel like I have more energy and just, I'm just happier, like all around happier since I started doing this and I'm really excited. Now I feel like I'm kind of addicted to it. Like, let me, I am not a morning person. I just wanna put that out there. Anyone who has ever been my roommate ever knows that I am not a morning person and I genuinely look forward to waking up at 6 a.m. Five, no, I wake up at 5.20. I enjoy waking up at 5.20 to go do a 6 a.m. workout. Like, it's my favorite part of the day now, which is crazy because I'm not a morning person, but you can become whatever you wanna become. Anyways, week two, we're doing a lot better than week one. A lot better, so just hang in there, guys. If you are on your first week, don't give up. Just push through. I feel like once you get through the first two weeks, and you feel how your body is changing and you feel how you feel more confident and healthier and stronger and more energized, like you're gonna wanna keep going. That's how I feel. I just wanna keep going because I just love the way it makes me feel. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. It's a little later on the same day and right now, I'm really upset. <laughs> I'm very emotional, like I'm not in the best mood and like all I want is a burger like just a burger and fries right now and it just made me realize like how much I turn to food for comfort and how much I turn to food to make me feel better and that's not a healthy habit and I really shouldn't do that and I don't know why food like has that kind of power over me you know like I like I need a burger like I need it to feel better right now that's so stupid, like I shouldn't need that. So I'm gonna try to resist my urge for a burger to retrain my body to know that when you're upset, think of a different way to deal with your emotions other than eating. Um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people struggle with that. I'm such an emotional eater and I feel like this has just made me realize how much I lean on food whenever I'm distressed or stressed or upset or in pain or any of that kind of stuff. Any negative emotion, I look to food to make me feel better and that's just not healthy. So I'll let you know if I'm getting a burger, but I'm gonna really try, really try not to, so. Um, but, <laughs> I need to get this off my elbow. Uh, I'm gonna go and get dressed and get ready to leave and stuff because it's like 40 minutes away And I'm gonna end this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching my health journey week two Let me know if you guys are enjoying this because if you're not I'm not gonna keep filming it Maybe you know after this week. I just stop filming and then update you guys in a month. I don't know. Let me know what you prefer Let me know, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video